Okay, we're back at the yard here. Um, this is those eyes and knees. So 10, 2 pounds, so 8, 9, 10, 11, yeah, right on the money. See, it's like so much, so much space and stuff. This is my aluminum. Let's see what it comes out to, for weight-wise. Just curiosity, doesn't mean nothing, but... Some, stuff, some, some are heavier than others. 3.7 pounds. Okay. It's aluminum. So I talked to another scrapyard. They told me price is cheaper, but I said, hey man, don't give me... I mean, I, you know, I, I want to get a count. I want to be like, we, we deal like large volumes and stuff. And then he said, okay, well, you'll pay me as much or more than where I'm dealing with. And I asked for a tin. How much is tin? The big yard I go to is 120. They say for shred, they pay 190 right now for shred. So what's going on here? Right? So I don't know. So I get a load. And I go down there. It's, I got to travel about maybe it's a half an hour driving because you got traffic and stuff, right? To get there, so it's not far. It's like maybe like 10, 15 miles, but it's just you know with traffic and stuff. And so I'm gonna have to see if they do pay better. It's where it would be worth to drive for sure. But they, they kind of lowball you all the time because they, they don't know who you are. They think you're a crackhead. They're trying to just sell stone stuff, but. So they, they want to pay cheap as possible, but no, I said, look at that, I'm a company man, I got, you know, I do big volumes of scrap, I said, don't bullshit me kind of thing, straight out, you know, I'm looking for a proper buyer, you know, if I want to sell it, just sell it anywhere, you know, I want a proper buyer that pays, pays the best possible. So, that's the end result, you gonna have to see, but you know, the, Some are bigger than others, huh? 1.9 pounds, almost 2 pounds. This one is so heavy. Oh, why is that? Twice as heavy. But anyways, we'll have to see. Until we see how much you pay. But he said tread right now. 190. And I asked the guy over and over. He said, yeah, 190. So 190 is pretty good. Better than 120. He did say shred is going down. Prices are going down, but he said... 190 right now, so huh. oh, when I squeezed it, it actually separated it. Really, that's a new way. It actually separated the winding, came off so easy. What I'm gonna do is, I want to take a bunch of these apart. I don't care about little copper nuggets, whatever on here. Not worth my time. For like a couple of pieces here. And the guys take them off, but you know you have to get a cutter. You have to cut it real tight. It's, not, it's too time consuming. Let's see if I do the same process here. Squeeze it a little lower. Harder, but uh, the other one was such a fat one, so I just don't know. Hmm. So we talked about copper, and I said, "Hey, well, what do you pay?" Blah blah blah. And they want, kind of want like they want, kind of want volume until they know you, right? So you, you have a little bit more, they pay you better, right? But so I told him what I'm getting for price. He says. Price is not a problem, he said. Straight out, it's not a problem. But they want someone that brings, you know, amounts, large amounts to them, right? Not Mickey Mouse two, three pounds, no. I like, I like large amounts too. 
I don't waste my time either. I'm just going to process a little bit of copper here and then I want to get get my shred ready tomorrow. Well, I'll have an inspection tomorrow which are priorities. So this has a tape on it. It's heavy enough to be copper. It's a little fat lining this one. So we'll see what happens here price wise. This one. It doesn't want to come off. It's so thick. Look at that. That's what I call a good mortar. This kind of stuff I wouldn't sell by pound. It's not worth it. I get way better with the amount of time. It's just easy, very easy stuff. I don't mind just stuff that's really hard to strip, if you know what I mean. I'll try this one again. Sometimes the screwdriver can pop it. It's already cracked, but it's kind of in the joint there a bit. It's almost out. See, these are really thick, that's why it's a little bit harder. All the copper in these things. You should just pop out like nothing. As soon as you make a video, it takes forever. So I cleaned all my gutters. Got them all done. You're talking about minus 10 weather coming. So. On top of it, hmm. why is it? She comes out instantly. Tough. But I said I got number two copper. He says, what kind of, kind of copper? Well, what kind of number two do you think? You know, I mean, number two is number two, isn't it? So I don't know. We'll see. I'm not too impressed with the, the other yard right now. Comments and remarks and the attitude they get. Every time you go there, it's like stupid attitudes. I hate that. You know, if we don't go there, they don't have a job. So, they should be treating us really good. We're giving them a living. I don't know why this one's not, not cooperating. The more scrap you bring, the more money the scrap yards make, the keep keeps them employed, right? But they don't seem to seem to care those workers. They're just like all mouthy and too impressive. Even Saturday, I mean, it's like 
Half an hour before it closes, the guy's already whining to people. Hurry up, hurry up. Only taking five more people. What's that mean? Doesn't make sense. This is crap. Look at this. I don't know why this one didn't want to come out. But it is a lot of copper, so I'm not complaining too much. So I have another inspection coming in, in, in about a week. That called me. And one cheap guy called me. Wants it done for peanuts. I said, forget it. They're not interested. I can't do them for, for go there to make hundred dollars. I'm not wasting my time for hundred dollars. Take liability on doing an inspection. Forget it. And I gotta pay the. You know, my worker. We do toss ups on jobs. We do his job. I do my job. We split. Put some profits on the jobs. And anyways, it's ridiculous. You want to get some cheap guy? Go ahead. I don't care. You know, we pay so much per sample, right? And samples get expensive, they add up. And we're always taking lots of samples just because we want an accurate report. You know, we don't take the bare minimum, we take more than more than normal for samples. Come on, why is this right down to the last string here? So I'm just gonna keep processing stuff. I mean once I get my shred load full. Then I can talk to the, this other place. Then I can really meet them and, you know, do business, right? Not over the phone is a little tough, right? Because they just want the cheapest guy, you know, cheap guys to go in there. No, I want, I want to get the top, top dollar, you know, good money if I'm going to supply scrap to people steady. You know, I was doing a bin a week. You know, it adds up, right? That's how these companies make money because they keep people send steady amounts of scrap there. I feel it's kind of late. It feels late here. I don't know, weird. I don't know what's going on here. It feels a little too late, like almost like aluminum. Aluminum. I think a grinder to it because uh, it was heavy, but it might have just been all this steel. Aluminum, see? Couldn't even tell right away. I mean, that's why it was really hard to get off. Just fighting to, fighting to get off. Get the life going. Let's call that a second. Okay, so this one feels like copper, quite a bit heavier, but we'll see. See, if I'd known that was aluminum, I would have just sold the way it is. I think we followed. Hard to believe. It's copper. Yeah, I try to find where that smoke detector is. I don't know where it is. Too much junk somewhere over there, I think, but can't get it out. I kind of like to actually, like, I was doing it to one container and make it kind of like a ball. That looks better in a ball, right? And a bunch of hair. Okay. Okay, so I got a different kind of mortar, but it's a lot harder to take the windings off. See how the winding is stuck in between the U? These all come out separate. So I'm not sure. I'm not one there. So, you know, it's going to be a little bit of work to get it out. Versus this one I just cut, like, you know, cut like this. I'm going to put everything in this dish here and I'm not going to make a ball out of it. It looks so, so sloppy otherwise.
So it's gonna be cold. They said minus minus ten. So that's weird. The weather's just got cold all of a sudden. This is what got. Everything's kind of stuck in the ball. It's not like a little. Looks more like copper. So I'm using the table as a leverage too. A little too hard in the wrist. You can't can't cut this otherwise. If you don't mean. I must have. I got hundreds of these mortars. I never sold them. This. I got. There's containers full of these mortars. So I'll have to go through everything. Get all my copper together. Get the best price and then this will produce a lot less. There's another one here. The tape on the outside. So there's quite a few calls today for inspections. We'll see. Some people are cheap. Some people are okay. They don't argue. I give them a cheap price. There's guys who are charging 1000 1500 I'm probably charging like 700 800 So You know, so. The price is cheap, so I don't care. Guys want to go cheaper than me? Let them. They can work backwards. I'm going to pay the owner to do the job. Well, they've been in business for like 20 years. You know, like a guy comes off of school or something and thinks he knows what he's doing, has no experience. You know, I got lots of experience. That's a nice one here. It's funny how there's so many different colors of copper, it's almost like gold. Like certain countries have different colored gold. And it's just it's kind of how it comes to the ground. Different purities, I guess. So it's making a donut. Never seen that. That looks better than a bunch of you know loose pieces of hair. I think that's like 45 pounds, 50 pounds right here. Okay, I'm gonna keep going a little more. I don't know what time it is, but 6.22 at night. Okay, we're gonna keep moving. I just wanna show you how fine it works pretty good, just like this. You can use a screwdriver and pry. I mean, there's many ways of doing this, but I find just, just go like this and just hit it down. You know, you're not prying much, you're not forcing nothing. Some are easier, some are harder, but oh, I don't like the color. Don't like the color. Make sure that's gonna be aluminum. Cleaning. Come on, sometimes, sometimes you want to come off, fall off. Sometimes it's tough. Sometimes they come off instantly. That one's just want to go, see? See, it's almost out. It's just a tiny little piece hanging there. So 
see it's basically out, it's just the winding's caught up or something. Going into the plastic. There it is. So these more, as I can say, they're pretty easy. I think they're worth stripping. Sometimes they can go like I don't know, just keep adjusting the thing, but you can go like that. Try to push it through like that if you want. Usually comes off really easy. This one's really thick. It's really rubbery, this thing. That's the problem. It's not brittle, so it doesn't want to cut. Cutter I'm using is an old one. The better cut of the red one's a bit better. A little newer. So I, I'm gonna keep those transformers that I, I stripped that one earlier. For three pounds is not too bad. The yield is good. Just a bit of a you know a bit of a mess. Plus, I was wondering about this, my scale, my mounts on the scale. Just, you know, I used to take lots of loads here, and they're 3,500 pounds, and they, now they're kind of hard. Seems like they're only like 3,000 pounds, 3,200. So it seems a little bit weird there, too. So, try another yard and see how the scales match up. Because, you know, all they have to put is code down. You see your vehicle, the code could set anything on the code, right? You don't know. There's, there's good companies, but there's a lot of cheating companies too in scrap metal. I remember one one guy, I had about a big bucket of copper, and he was standing on a scale. Then when I went to look at the numbers, I went this way. Then he would go that way, back and forth. We were like playing, almost dancing. About ten times, I almost told the guy to, you know, hit the road. So the guy cheated me in a way, so I couldn't tell the scale, because the scale was, wasn't digital. It was numbers. But he kept moving. As I looked at the numbers, he moved to me. Then I went the other way, he moved the other way. He did this like ten times or more. So that's why I never went back to this guy ever again. I knew, once you get cheated, you know. Cheated me, who knows, for five, ten pounds. How do you know, right? If I can find my red cutters, red cutters is good. I'm not sure where it went. 
This one's uh, locking. But you know, this copper is really thick, it's not thin. So, kettle is just the cutters, copper is really thick. I did a lot of apartment buildings, they were all from the 70s, and they all had copper mortars, and I, and I haven't stripped any of those, they're all somewhere here, in this garage. I would get all the fans, took all the mortars out of the ceiling fans, the bathroom fan, I'll take those mortars, and I took the, uh, those, those over the range hood fans, and they're all the old school ones. You know, all the heavy mortars on there, you can tell. This one I'm hitting all the edges first, so that you loosen the laminations. So three sides already. Thing is, the lamination's got to be loosened. Shatters. See that? It's a stall. Okay. First few to get them started. Let's see if I can. The guys do this all do it all the time. We got the little tricks, tricks, you know. Do these at all to be honest. You almost cut, cut it with a saw if you wanted, but. Once I get all these little pieces out, then it just starts to get a little more shimmied, you know?
It's just trying to get it started, you know? It's the hard part. I know some of these were crisscrossing. They're hard to get out even when it was uh, already half stripped. almost like not really worth it just the amount of work it takes and Cutting those seem like they weren't coming coming off. They're just cutting. Cutting is not really coming off. Knock these spacers out here. Some spacers here might take the pressure off. These spacers here. Yeah, it help a lot. So it's just gonna take take me forever here. Hmm. 
I wonder how hard it is to sawzall this. Let me get this up here. I'm gonna try to sawzall for a minute. We're kind of here, right across. I'll try one second. Not that productive. Blade is probably not that good, but Let's try another blade. See, blade is uh, I use that a lot already. So Let's try this one. I can use a grinder, but blades cost money, so it's kind of like pointless. Sure, it'd be a little quicker, but the only problem is I haven't been able to get one out yet. That's the problem. If I can get one or two out, it should be easy. Why this doesn't want to go out? Wine is loose now, but it's want to come out. Okay, we're gonna keep continuing here. Something's gotta go sooner or later. Okay, you know, not one came out yet. It's just. A, the, the, the actual thing is breaking like it's double welded or something here I had problems with the other one there was a couple that like that they were double welded I thought I was just imagining it but no it's welded here and I welded here something funny here because I, I, you know nothing comes out nothing comes out I think should come out, doesn't come out. They just break by the weld. See? See how it breaks there? This doesn't want to come out. I don't know what I do, but it'll come out. See that? Breaks right by the weld. See that? Welded there. A different system or something. The other one came out pretty good, but I found there was about four or five that were welded. Couldn't get them out, I had to break them out. Usually it goes to eyes and knees, eyes and knees, right? You know how it just breaks off? Yep. It's not coming through. I broke everything down. I don't know why it's doing that. Always something now. Huh? Yeah, this breaks. You guys seen us like this before? It doesn't want to come out because it's welded on one side.
Come on. Great part of the world. So let me finish that part off. It's not coming off otherwise. Okay. So I had to break everyone down one side. This one go. You know what I tried. And come out. You ever seen that guys? You ever seen that before? See? They're welded. Each one's welded. It's welded here and it's welded there. That's why it's so tough. Total, total joke, that one. It's gotta be an easier way getting this, this stuff off. And you have the with one side, then you have the other side. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Still have this outer core here still. What we do to make a buck, huh? You know it's gonna be close to three pounds or three pounds.